for another review. Today we've got a collaboration beer with Cloudwater out in Manchester and Dry and Bitter out in Denmark. This beer is called Mobile Speaker. It's a double IPA coming at 8% ABV. Let me go through some of the information on the back. Uh, the yeast is WLP095 and JW Lees out in Manchester. And the hops in this beer are Citra, Galaxy, Simcoe and Mosaic. The bitter in hops are Columbus. And then the malts are Golden Promise, Golden Naked Oats and Wheat Malt. 440ml can. The allergens are gluten, wheat, barley and oats. So yeah, cloud water, they're out of Manchester. Piccadilly Trading Estate, I need to get up there. Um, so yeah, nice collaboration beer. The artwork is by Textbook Studio. So mobile speaker what's it say dry and bitter present mobile speaker how many times mobile speaker I should get a speaker and broadcast it but anyway back to the beer um, obviously done a review kind of off the cuff live on YouTube the link down below good beer live um, beer was kindly sent by Honest Brew so check them out I put a link down below as well as a code for you to get a little bit of money off, £10 off I think it is, and free postage if you spend £35, so worth a shout. So, let me just, that's what I've got left from my first initial tasting. Let me just, I've got half a can left, so. Let's try and generate a little bit of more on the head, and that is just a, an absolute juice bomb. So I've had a, a a taste. Oh, that's a big bit of sediment there. So if you don't want the sediment in the can, from the can into your glass, look at them floaties there. Just pour it gently. So get the aroma on this one. Very creamy into the light. Yeah, it's it's, it's even more murkier now than than it was when I'd done the uh, the show with uh, Jayco beer and hop team so check them guys out <coughs> excuse me i'll put the links down below so yeah it's a very kind it's more of a darker orange now um with that added yeast that i've thrown in but yeah cloudy like you expect let's get an aroma then it's just unbelievable now that it's warmed up a little bit although it's still fairly cool because it's a cool room Big kind of mango, pineapple. There's almost a slight savoury edge to it. It's just, it's just one of them beers that just you've got to experience the aroma for yourself. Almost. I mean, this is obviously a very kind of limited release uh, beer. Um, I think it's still available certain outlets I don't think this beer is still available on this brew but they've got a load of other beers um, I'm reviewing this on the 1st of December I think in the next week or so they're going to get a lot of other juicy beers so keep going back until there's something you really fancy and then yeah use that code but this is just beautiful lovely pineapple some that nice kind of fleshy orange So there's a nice dankness about it. Let's give it a try now that it's warmed up a little bit. Cheers. It's not too harsh. Um, this beer was it was canned on the 18th of October of 2017. Um, best before the end of February of 2018. So. This had, beer has had time just to slightly mellow, possibly. I mean, I don't know what this beer was like fresh. Um, sometimes you can get that kind of slight kind of green. Literally, you've had it in a few days. It could be a little bit too green. Uh, but this one's may have smoothed out a little bit. Um, 
so it's not that kind of real sharpness you get with some of these real fresh beers um, maybe it's tasting the same as when it was like someone tried it within a day or two of being canned I don't know put your comments down below and let me know but at the moment the way it's tasted now it's lovely and smooth um, it's not too harsh you're not picking up the ABV it's a very light kind of slightly below medium mouthfeel it's a dangerous beer. I mean, you, you you could before you know it, you could be out of your out on your feet on this one if you, you had more than one can. If you're used to these beers, perhaps two two cans of this, you're gonna know you've had a beer for sure. But yeah, it, it does generate a nice head when you swirl it around. It's leaving some really nice cracking lacing on on the side of the glass. Um, check out. Um, Peter over at the Master of Hoppets, he done a review of this I think within a day or two ago. So I'm going to try and post this one as quickly as I can. So yeah, check out his review, I'll put the link down below. Um, also check out Rob Hopsine and uh, JK Beer. There'll be a few links down below, commercial description, commercial description about Cloudwater Brewery um, and that kind of thing, you know. Playlist, etc. So yeah, check all the information out down below. This is just staggeringly good. Um, there's almost like a, a slight kind of a fruit pastel quality to it. It's a little bit chalky but not overly. It's just very well pitched. It's a fantastic beer. Um, also check out Dry and Bitter. I've had a few of their beers. I'm just trying to remember uh, Fat and Fruity I think I've had from, from them guys. I've had it on draft a few times once in Leeds, Hop City last year, 2016. And I think that Houston Tap. Um, they do fantastic beers as well. I've had the um, the the collaboration beer with Beer Fifty Two as well, and they, they, I've had a few beers from them. So check them out as well. I'll put the links down below, etc. So back to this beer then. Yeah, it's just so smooth. The mouth feels wonderful, almost slightly creamy. There's a slight sweetness of vanilla. It's almost like um, a vanilla waffle um, kind of thing. Yeah, vanilla ice cream waffle or mango, slight mango-y kind of a mango waffle. If you can get them, I have no idea. But but yeah, it's a fantastic beer. I could go on about this beer for so long. And I'm going to cut it down now because it's probably at 10 minutes or whatever. Um, as for a rating for me then for mobile speaker collaboration with Cloudwater and Dry and Bitter it's a 10 out of 10 it's a 5 out of 5 caps on Untap for me it's fantastic over to Untap then if you want to go that's yeah I don't blame you um, brewed in collaboration with our uh, ready to party anywhere friends from Dry and Bitter this double IPA was co-fermented with the yeast mentioned Citra Galaxy da, 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 da. I've already showed you all that there's nothing more else to say Oh, here we go. Citra and Galaxy take the lead in our biggest dry hop charge yet. So there you go. Um, it's coming in at over 1,223 monthly ratings. The overall ratings are 1,645. Coming in at 4.26. Which is like an 8.5 out of 10 over that many people. That's pretty damn impressive. That's that's some really good scores there. This beer was added on the 18th of October of 2017. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, set all the links down below. Check it out. Get yourself a bit of money off, etc. Let me know if you've had it before, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.